Good evening, everyone. Mr. Helgeson here. I'm excited to be wrapping up our 24-night holiday read-aloud. Uh, the book that we will be reading tonight is The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour, illustrated by Christian Birmingham. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse." The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and Mama in her kerchief and I and my cat had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. There he is with all his reindeer. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dryly as before, the wild hurricane fly. When they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and prancing of each little hoof as I drew in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Oh, coming down that dirty chimney. A bundle of toys had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. There he is eating those milk and cookies. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath.
He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Going back up to that sleigh. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of thistle. Off to the next house. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. All right, so Merry Christmas to everyone, and I hope everyone has a happy new year. Thanks for turning in to all of our 24 read-alouds, and thanks to all the staff, students, and families who participated in this wonderful event. Have a good night.